Let me tell you a little bit about antioxidation. I, all, I know you all know what that means and certainly everybody's touting antioxidants nowadays. But what that is is basically the rusting process taking place inside of you. Okay, just like if I were to cut an avocado in half, leave it on the counter here and come back in an hour, it turns brown, right? So we're looking to do something to reverse that antioxidant, okay? Because the air is an oxidant, okay? And we are breathing the air, right? So um, what we're looking to do is slow that down. And I'm going to show you a picture now. This is our founder, Mr. Oshiro, okay? He's on your left, and his business advisor in the USA is on your right. Now when you look at this picture, I ask people, how old does Mr. Oshiro look? And you can take your own guess, but most people say 45, 50, 55. And if you look at the US Business Advisor, I usually get answers like 65, 70, maybe even 75. But you'll, this will blow you away. They're actually the same age. Okay, so I think Mr. Oshiro's found a way to kind of slow down that aging process, right? And we asked Mr. Oshiro, you know, what do you attribute your, your youthfulness to? I mean, his skin and his hair, and if you see him and his wife together, they really don't look a day over 50. But he says over the last 20 years now, two decades, he's been drinking Kangen water, okay, which I'm showing you right now, and he's been drinking about a gallon a day, okay? So um, if he drinks a gallon a day, you now I try to drink a gallon and a half. So I think that there's something to this water, right? Okay, so... I'm going to give you a little education about antioxidation. How we measure this is by an ORP score, oxidation reduction potential. So we're looking for something with a negative ORP. That would mean antioxidant. Anything with a positive score is going to be an oxidant. Okay, so I just happen to have an ORP meter here, oxidation reduction potential meter, and I've zeroed it. This is something you can buy online. Um, the government uses it to test reservoirs and things like that. And I'm going to put it in these liquids. It's either going to come up a positive or a negative number. Again, we're looking for something that's a negative number. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, put this in the soda first. And you can see here, we're looking at 420 area. So that's definitely an oxidant. Here's the Propel or sports drink. That one's in the 350 range. Here's the Pellegrino. Okay, still in the 350 range, so definitely not an antioxidant yet. How about vitamin water? Maybe this one will go negative. No, nope, we're still in the positives, in the 250 area. Now I'll go to Aquafina. Okay, this is the product of Pepsi Cola again. Now we're going back up into the 400s. Definitely an oxidant, okay? Now I have Dasani. This one's also in the 400s. So nothing that's an antioxidant yet. Let's try the tap water. Tap water is going down a little bit, still in the 300s. So um, unless you're looking to age, I wouldn't drink anything on this table so far. So let's try our Kangen water. This is the Kangen water, 9.5 pH. You can see we went into the negative, right? Negative 740s. That's a pretty high antioxidant, okay? And just to give you a little education, if you take a look at blueberries or green tea, you're anywhere around negative 50 to negative 80. So how many blueberries can you eat to get that negative 50, 750, right? That's a huge jump. So what you want to do is start drinking this water, and all that negative charge that you're drinking is going to start acting kind of like a scavenger in your body, taking care of all those positive free radicals, toxins, and pollutants. So it's pretty important to be putting that really high negative antioxidant in your body.